to Frontierland. My friends, I am your captain for this morning's journey around the beautiful rivers of America. Now, you are about to set foot on the Mark Twain Riverboat. It's a majestic masterpiece in man-made ingenuity. From 1820 to 1870, paddle wheelers like this were a common sight. They floated along the great American rivers like uh, multi-tiered wedding cakes. Oh yeah. Now, uh, a river cruise on a steamboat is an adventure to remember. And it's just one of the many exciting adventures that are returning this summer for families to enjoy. Now, if you've been on one of our river boats before, keep an eye out. You may note a few surprises. Fact is, a local authority has come by to drop the few notes about the news. <coughs> Pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. It is my honor to introduce you to the president of the Disneyland Resort, Michael Coglazer. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to one of my favorite areas of the park. It's exciting times here at the Disneyland Resort. If any of you here had a chance to be at D23, you heard Bob Chapin talk about some of the new things that we have coming for our guests. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is well underway right behind us, and Bob also teased some of our plans to bring Spider-Man and the Avengers to join their buddies, the Guardians of the Galaxy, over a California adventure. And while we have many, many exciting new things coming. Part of what makes Disneyland so special are the classic attractions, the ones that people come back to to ride with their friends and family again and again. Some of those attractions date all the way back to 1955 when Walt opened the park, but a few of them have been missing for a little while. The Mark Twain, the sailing ship Columbia, Davy Crockett Explorer Canoes, and of course the Disneyland Railroad. They're all amazing attractions in and of themselves. But together, when you can see them and hear them going around the river, especially in this part of the park, they create an environment that is very, very special. And that's why we're very excited to have you here with us to celebrate their return. I think you're going to find that the Imagineers have brought them back better than ever. Now, speaking of our Imagineers, I'd like to acknowledge the passing of our dear friend and Disney legend, Marty Squar. It's really impossible to overstate Marty's influence throughout all of our parks and resorts. He was one of our last remaining personal connections to Walt Disney. He shaped the guest experience around the world and he inspired generations of Imagineers, including those who worked on these classic attractions, to ensure that Disney magic will continue for years to come. He was a great mentor and a friend to me in this role, and we're all very sad and we'll miss him dearly. But I do know that Marty was incredibly proud of the work that the Imagineers have done on these classic attractions, and he, more than anyone else, would be excited for us to show them off to all of you. So with that, I invite you to begin our celebration with a journey above the historic, aboard the historic Mark Twain. Captain? Very nice. All aboard! 